In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create internal and external links using an updated version of the Pacific Highway case study. You can find the files in the Highway Start folder in the Using Text and Images as Links folder of the Course Assets. The updated files, bigsur.html and pfeffer.html, are based on the same design as the main page. The hero image has been removed, and if we scroll down here, you can see that the teaser articles have been replaced by an article on the left, which is wider. It's called main, it's got the ID main, and there's an aside element on the right with the ID sidebar. Both elements have been given a width, some padding, and then floated left. The two other files, seals.html and morrow.html, are simply placeholders for the rest of the site. So let's return to index.html and start creating some links. You convert text into a link by selecting it and then adding the destination address in the link field in the property inspector. So to convert this first item in the unordered list here into a link, double click it to select the word. And it's a good idea to open split view so you can see what's happening in the underlying HTML. And we actually want to link this page to itself. So you could either just type index.html straight in the link field here, or you can use one of these icons. Let's use this browse for file icon first. Click that, make sure we're in the site route, and then select index.html and click OK. And in the underlying code, you can see that the word home has been wrapped in a pair of A tags. A stands for anchor, that's the historic name that links have been known by. And href stands for hypertext reference. So that's really the, all there is to creating a link. Let's link to Big Sur. You can select everything in an element by triple clicking. So if you click three times, you select the whole of Big Sur. If you find that difficult, just drag to select. This time let's use the point to file icon. To be able to use that we need to open the files panel and just expand that a little bit. Won't expand so we'll need to scroll down so we can see the names of all the files. And the way that the point to file icon works is you click it and then drag to the target that you want. So it's Big Sur, then release the mouse button and it just inserts it there. So let's quickly do the same with Pfeffer Beach. I'm going to use the browse for file. I prefer using that. Elephant seals will go to the seals page. And Morrow Bay will go to morrow.html. Now down at the bottom of the page in the footer are some links to external files and these are handled slightly differently. You still select the text and then put the link here, the URL, in the link field. But the important thing about creating an external link is that you must include the HTTP protocol. In the folder for this lesson in the course assets, I've created a text file which has got all of the links that you need to add. And they must begin with HTTP colon slash slash. If you just have www bigsurcalifornia.org slash index.html and put that in the link field, the link will break because what will happen is that the browser will be looking for that within your own site. It must have this HTTP colon slash slash at the beginning. So I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard, then go into the link field and paste it. And when I press tab it will enter it there into the underlying HTML. I'll leave you to finish off the other three external links. I just want to move here to social media. I'm not going to create a real link but I'm going to select Facebook and then in the link field I'm going to type a hash or a pound sign and then press tab. And what this does is it creates a dummy link and the hash on its own actually takes you to the top of the page if you click a link that just contains a hash. So we've created internal links, dummy links and external links. To convert text into a link just select the text and insert the destination address in the link field here in the property inspector. 
With internal links, it's best to use the Browse for File icon or Point to File. That ensures that the spelling and the path is correct. With external links, remember you must always include the HTTP protocol at the beginning of the address. And I find that the safest way is to copy the URL from a browser address bar and paste it into the link field.